Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at this long-term construction project where I would compute revenues, expenses, and profit using the percentage of completion method as well as the completed contract. Now, specifically for this exercise, I'm only going to focus on the income statement account. Simply put, I'm going to compute how much revenue you would need to recognize for a particular year, deduct the expenses, and give you the profit, and obviously compute the degree of completion. I will not work any balance sheet accounts because I believe the balance sheet account are straightforward and I did cover them in the prior recording when I covered percentage of completion method. So you could view the prior recording if you're interested in the balance sheet entries. Let's go ahead and get started on April 1st. Adam Construction Year X1 entered into a contract to build a warehouse for Avi for a total contract price of 8.5 million. That's the contract price. The building was completed by November 20X3. The annual contract cost are as follow for X1, X2, and X3. So X1, X2, and X3. We have the contract cost incurred during the year for any particular year. And as of that year, what's the remaining to be completed because that's important in order to compute the degree of completion. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch to an Excel sheet and work this problem starting with the degree of completion in order to find out how much revenues I can recognize, revenues and obviously profit for each particular period. Before I proceed, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. So this is the data that we have on the PowerPoint slides, the cost for each particular year and the revenue. So what we're gonna find out is what is the degree of completion? How much did we complete it in year X1? What's the degree of completion? And based on the degree of completion, we can figure out how much revenue to recognize. So how do we compute this? Well, the formula goes cost incurred to date divided by the total cost to complete the project. So let's go ahead and find out what is the cost to date. The cost to date is cost incurred to date is 3 million. Cost to complete the project, we need an additional 3,590. Therefore, the total cost to complete is 6,590. So if I take cost incurred to date, which is the 3 million, divided by the total cost estimated for this project as of X1, I finished 46% of the project as of year one. Now I can recognize 46% of the revenue and as a result, recognize some profit for year X1. So let me show you how do we recognize the revenue. So for the revenue, I'm gonna take 8.5 million, eight, which is the revenue for the project, times 46%. So 8.5 million times 46%, that's gonna give me the revenue. And the cost is 3 million. Therefore, my profit for year one is 869499 So I'm going to go ahead and show you the journal entry to book this entry. So to book this, to book this entry, I'm going to recognize revenue, expense, and profit. So the revenue is 3569499 The construction cost is the construction cost that I incurred. And the difference between them is, I'm going to put here in quote, profit. Now you have to understand that we park the profit in an account called construction in progress. So simply put, the entry for the profit is construction in, in, in progress, which is an inventory account, which is an inventory account. So in the inventory account, we put the profit and we also include the cost in that account. Again, in the prior recording, I focus more on construction and progress, but this is just to show you how much profit I recognize. Now, bear in mind, although I put 869,499 on the balance sheet as part of inventory on the income statement, I reported revenues, I reported expenses. The difference between them also is profit recognized for year X1. So this is X1. Let's take a look at year X2. In year X2, I incurred 2,330,000 
and the remaining cost to complete the project is two million one hundred and ninety thousand now i'm gonna use the same formula and what's that formula cost incurred to date divided by the total estimated cost to complete the project so what is the cost to date let me show you the cost to date the cost to date is three million in year one three million in year one three million in year one and two million three hundred and thirty in year two so the cost incurred to date is five million three hundred and thirty which is cost incurred in year one plus cost incurred in year two divided by the total cost to complete the project now i need to compute what's that and that number seven million five hundred and twenty hold on a second my cost was six million five hundred and ninety total cost to complete the project in year two it's seven million five hundred and twenty my cost went up yes that could happen especially these days with inflation labor cost is going up material going up so on and so forth so that could easily happen in the real world so what happened in year two first let's compute my degree of completion so my degree of completion is 71 percent so for as of year two i completed 71 percent taking cost incurred to date divided by the total estimated cost to complete the project now let me recognize my revenue and my expense for that particular year my revenue is 8.5 million 8.5 million times 71 percent so it's 8.5 million 8.5 million times 71 percent minus the prior revenue the prior revenue is 3 million 869 for 99 remember i'm computing my revenue based on 71 percent but i already recognize 46 therefore my revenue for year two is using the formula is two million one hundred fifty five thousand one hundred two. my cost incurred for year two is two million three hundred and thirty wow hold on a second i think in year two notice in year two my cost is greater than my revenue so what i have in year two is not a profit in year two i have a loss and my loss is 174,898. Every time you incur a loss, the company will have to stop and ask themselves, is this loss for the whole project or is this loss only for the interim period? What does that mean? It means, is, is, would this loss make my project unprofitable or would this loss make only this year unprofitable? Well, let's see. My, my project is 8.5 million in revenue and if I compute all my current cost and future cost, which is cost in year one, cost in year two, and my estimated cost in year three, if you do so, let's let's just add them up, kind of just to tell you how much they will be. If I sum those, they sum up to 7,520,000. So what does that mean? It means although I am incurring a loss, so year two is a loss, that's fine, but overall the project is still profitable. Not as profitable as I thought initially, it's still profitable so let's compute the journal entry for year for year two so for year two i'm going to debit my construction expense i'm going to credit my revenue for the amount of 2.3 million 30 thousand revenue 2 million 155 thousand 102 now what's going to happen is i am going to credit my construction and process so i'm going to credit construction and process for the loss so this is again the loss that I book for year two. The book I year two and I reduce my CIP and the loss will be reported on the income statement. But the, the overall project is still profitable. For year three, I'm gonna have to do the same thing for year three. And year three, which is the last year, year three, it's always gonna be 100%. Although it's 100%, I would still like to show you the computation. You will take cost incurred to date. Cost incurred to date is year one year two year three you add them all these up divided by the total cost to complete the project the total cost to complete the project is seven million five hundred and twenty therefore as of year three you completed 100 percent of the project now what you do you will need to compute your revenue your revenue will be your revenue which is 8.5 million 8.5 million 8.5 million times 100 percent minus year two revenue minus year one revenue okay so this is what we do is we'll take uh the 8.5 basically 8.5 million minus 
the 3,869,499, 2,155,102, which is the prior year revenue. So year three revenue is 2,475,399 minus the cost incurred in year two, year three, which is right here, 2,190,000. So in year three, I had a profit of 285,399. Now I'm ready to book the last year journal entry for my income statement. So let me show you the journal entry, which is credit revenue for 2,475,344, debit my construction expense 2,190, and the difference is the profit, which is again a CIP account of 285,000, 399 now this method is the percentage of completion method so i was i was able to recognize my revenue as time goes by now if i'm using the completed contract method the completed contract method is a conservative method the completed contract method state don't recognize any revenue or any expense and as a result any profit until the project is completed so what's going to happen if you're using the percentage of completion method there is no entry for year one as far as the income statement there's no entry for year two as the income statement and year three year three you would include all the revenue which is 8.5 million all the expenses seven million five hundred and twenty thousand and you will book the profit so this is under the completed contract method completed contract the completed contract is a conservative method the completed contract says don't recognize any profit until the project is done the project is done I can recognize 980,000 and if you want to you can add up where did I come up with all these revenues so where did that entry came if you add up all the revenues year one year two and year three you will come up with 8.5 million same thing with the expenses if you add up year one expenses plus year two expenses plus year three and if you add up the profit from year one minus the loss plus the profit of year three you will get 980,000 which is the construction and process so you will make one journal entry only in year x3 so in this exercise what i did is i incurred the loss but the loss is not for the whole project the loss is for it's, it's called an interim loss you could also have a scenario where the loss is for the whole project it means the project became unprofitable how do you book the journal entries i might work a problem like this but for now uh, go to farhatlectures.com work mcqs true false look at additional exercises and resources that's going to help you understand this topic invest in yourself invest in your career good luck study hard and of course stay safe